saw you at Cerulean Gym just out a rocky tunnel. It was the way you laugh and the way that you swim. I knew that you'd be trouble. We made such a big splash, big crash. You'll be my tidal wave. Breaks me down like an avalanche. Then we go dance in the rain. Nasty, you're gonna miss me when I'm gone. I'm gone forever. Don't tease me, my heart is freezing. Cause you went up this icy weather. Chances were slim that much, it's plain to see But I found you standing with him and thought It should have been me I had my chance and I blew it My closing hearts are right through it I'm coming down like a crash in a wake Nasty, you're gonna miss me when I'm gone I'm gone forever Welcome back to Pokemon Secret Girl Egglock. In the last episode, we took on the Elite Four and Champion and won. Uh, we ended up sadly losing three Pokemon, but it doesn't really matter because the entire team has changed for Kanto, as you saw by that grinding montage. That was probably three, almost four hours. I don't remember. I didn't actually pay attention to how long each individual file was. I just ended up uh, compiling them in Vegas, putting the thing on them, and speeding them up because the footage together before having to compress it to speed it up more, in the second render it was 13 minutes, so then I, I would have to speed it up even further to get it to fit. So, you know, <laughs> grinding with us just take a long time. Anyways, I'm going to be going over a new team, and this episode we're going to be head taking our first steps in a cancer that isn't uh, that for the gym challenge. So, woo, there is the squad. Oh my gosh, man, it took, it's not that any of the Pokemon are bad, it's that just a couple of them did not match up well against some of the high, higher level uh, areas, so it was very hard to train them, and oh my god, Freezer took forever. Anyways, first up here we have Kage the Gengar with a quiet nature with Expert Bell, Shadow Ball, Dark Pulse, uh, Icy Wind, and will o -Wisp. So this thing learned Icy Wind by level up, which is pretty cool. I don't know if it learns anything else, I didn't check. All I did was check and see what Arcanine had when it was leveling up, because uh, it already had Flamethrower, and it learned E-Speed at the level that Growlithe would learn flamethrowers, so that makes it even better because I could have evolved it immediately, but I gave it the expert bell because I didn't really have much else I really wanted to give it, and having a super effective move, just it boosts the power by a lot more, so pretty cool stuff. One of these Pokemon had Poker Rust. I don't remember who it was, but they all have Poker Rust now, so pretty cool stuff. Next up, we have Skylar, the Arcanine here with a Timid Nature, Flamethrower, Flame Wheel, Crunch, and Extreme Speed. So this thing is a monster. Uh, look at those stats. All around, this thing is incredible. I love Arcanine. I also love its sprite in-game uh, when you're running around with it. I also really love Gengar's. Uh, the only two I actually dislike 
uh, in this team would be Dragonite and Sceptile. I don't like their sprites when they're following you. The rest of them, they look awesome. And it was a game of leftovers because it's kind of a bulky Pokemon. It's not really, but this thing can hit hard and bulky enough, and it's got leftovers, and, you know, just gonna be nice. Flamethrower is really good. Flame Wheel is a very, uh, middle of the road fire type move and also has a chance to leave a burn, so it's pretty good. Next up, we have Scar the Lux right here uh, with the Expert Belt as well because I didn't really want to give it the Scarf. Intimidate, uh, Thunder Fang, Ice Fang, Crunch, and Fire Fang. So this thing is already uh, only a little bit slower than Gengar, and that's because Gengar had a, a speed lowering nature, and this thing is a speed boosting nature, but this that means this thing is going to be fast. So I didn't really need the Scarf for it anyway. And uh, Thunder Fang, Ice Fang, and Fire Fang and Crunch, they all just work perfectly. This thing is also a dark type because uh, it should have been a dark type, but. Uh, I almost called him Suzerain. Dreano made him a dark type, so that's very nice. This thing is actually very balanced on either side of the attack stats, so uh, if I get a decent enough special move, like if I get Thunderbolt, then I'll get rid of Thunderfang, because Thunderbolt will be more powerful because it's already more powerful base wise, so pretty good stuff. Next up we have Frieza here, it was so difficult to train. It, uh, it has a brave nature, which is a very decent nature because it makes its special attack very good as well as its attack amazing so this thing's pretty slow but that doesn't really matter because look at this defense stats it's got very even defense stats and this thing can take hits dragon is a great typing and it's really good now that it hasn't been nerfed by fairy uh it's only weak to ice it's four times weak to ice and dragons yeah anyways he has fly dragon there's fire punch and surf so i really needed a fly pokemon and in all honesty of what we had uh being what else did we even have the set we had staravia and we had hunts girl and I had, I didn't really want to add a normal type. I already had a dark type and a dragon type. You know what? It's good. This entire team is unique typings, which is another thing I really love. But it has Dragon Rush because I don't know if it learns Dragon Claw or when. I mean, Dragon Rush is just the best move for it at this point because look at the attack compared to special attack. So you know. Anyway, Fire Punch. I just retaunt it because it didn't have anything better to give it. Uh, it has Surf and Fly, which are good which are good HMs, so, you know, pretty cool stuff. Next up, we have Jad, the second Lucario we've had, <laughs> holding the choice ban because I didn't really have much else to give him, but, you know, he's got a mild nature here, so this thing's got very good physical and special attack, so I taught it Aurasphere when I learned it, uh, because that's better than close combat. This thing never misses its base 80 special. Uh, it's base 90 in this game, never mind. Base 90 special. And uh, it's just, it's a really good move because the special attack is very similar to his physical attack. And I don't have to worry about defense drops or anything like that. But he's got Blaze Kick, Bullet Punch, and Crunch. Uh, the previous Lucario we had did not have Bullet Punch, it had Swords Dance instead. So it, it came with a TM for Swords Dance and it didn't have Bullet Punch. So pretty good stuff. Uh, yeah, Mild Nature Choice Band. So pretty good stuff. This thing's going to hit hard. I may change that Choice Band up. Um, I may end up giving an, it an Expert Belt and giving the Scarf to. No, I. What, what am I doing? I need to put a ban. I need to put a ban on Scar. Scar is all physical moves, so I don't keep clicking the side buttons. Keep going. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Finally, we have Geico, the uh, Septile here. He did not make a Grass Dragon, which he should have, because that's a. It's what it should have been. This thing's modest, holding the choice specs. This thing is my fastest Pokemon by far, or at least Storm Dragon Pulse, Dragon Breath, and Giga Drain. So. I, I taught it cut for grinding because it was easier to it just one-shot all of the Poliwag, and at a certain point I started one-shotting everything else I was training against, so pretty cool stuff. I didn't really have much to teach it, so I taught it Dragon Pulse. I did buy another Grass Knot TM, so I may end up teaching it Grass Knot, uh, which would be pretty good, but this thing's got two Dragon-type moves. Dragon Breath will go if I get something better, which I need, in all honesty. This thing is not really that great it's only good against pokemon that are that grass is good against anyways look at that look at Gengar. ah his sprite when he's running around he yawned loudly all right kage look at him look at him he's so cute anyway i really love skyler i'm gonna put skyler's up front uh i think skyler is possibly my my favorite member of the team right now but look at arcanine sprite look at it it's a, like a big dog i just want to hug it because it would be so fluffy. Anyways, we're going to head on to the SS Aqua and go to Kanto here. Ah, it's Professor Oak. My terrible voice for him. Ah, hello, you're starting to have the attitude of a champion. Some of your inventory device here, or whatever, I don't even care. Lock capsule. What? It's up to you to find what the item actually does. Perhaps you know any archaeologist that you can help. No, oh, time flies. Every radio should record. Must be heading for Kanto. We come near Palatine to drop by. 
All right, we're going to go to Cynthia before we do anything. You've been in Kanto? Brand new Pokemon live there. Sounds exciting. I'd love to visit. If you manage to come back safely and take my first steps in all of them when you live there with me, please, I beg you. It's only a and a pleasure cruise. He's the way of exaggerating things. All right, so let's actually fly and meet up with Cynthia and see what she gives me. You remember how last episode I was talking about how I wish I had a magnet? Well, I ended up getting one from the dude who spawns over by uh, Akrotik City on Sundays? All right, Cynthia, tell me what this lock capsule does. I remember seeing, uh, I don't remember, one of the, it was like Nappy's playthrough or something like that. He found it, and then he never, he didn't see the thing that Oak said, I've known an archaeologist. Congratulations on becoming, I'd like to give you a reward. How about first one you show me the Sinistar as one of the evolutions? I can show you that. Uh, do I have a Sinnoh starter? I don't, but I have a Sinnoh Pokemon. I'll be right back. I'm gonna go get my bike, my boy Chuck. My boy? Oh my gosh. You know, in all honesty, I'd love to use Chuck, but... I love, I love this Arcanine, actually, because I have never used an Arcanine. So there's that. And this thing has Flash Fire, too. So it's really nice training with. Okay. You want me to put Chuck up front? Well, it's a good thing Chuck's not dead, so I'm not breaking rules. Alright. Can you do that? That's indeed one of the starters given by Rowan. See you in for name. In that case, I'd like to have these two. What? <laughs> really? We're gonna get a Turtwig and a Piplup. What do you think about that, Chuck? Alright. You're looking around restlessly for something. I have your choice band here, buddy. Damn it, Cynthia! Alright, we got Turtwig and Piplop. You'll do well with that, whatever. What is this item? First, I'll give it to you, huh? Since it's called the Lock Capsule, or something related to the Golems, the Legend. Let me try something a moment. Capsule reacted strongly to the Braille tablet I obtained from the Holland region. Lock Capsule seems to be giving off an aura. I wonder what that could mean. Perhaps the Golems have in service around Johto, or have? Alright, I have no idea where they are, but Drana put them in the game. So, we're now going to go get our team back, because frickin' Cynthia had to see him, see him again, even though I showed him to. That was That's kind of a stupid thing, in all honesty. You have hu Hustle's Lord Hidden Ability? What? Is that actually Pip of Hidden? I mean, Defiant is it? No, I, I know exactly, it's Defiant. So I'm going to take your Orange Berries, because for the hell of it. Alright, I don't know if you can meet the other professors or what, but the lock capsule, so does, do I still have that? Okay, so I think she took it. Whatever, doesn't matter. We're gonna go, we're gonna fly back now. We're gonna go on the SS Aqua. Enough wasting time. I guess technically we did get two encounters with the fast ship. Here we go. You have a ticket, we're departing so get on board. What do you think, Septile? Gecko's cheerful. I'm glad, buddy. We must be the last passenger. I didn't realize that was a cutscene. Um, let's hope I was able to get... I don't know. Watch where you're going, man. Well, excuse me, I was in a hurry. My granddaughter's missing. She's a weaker OBC, please let me know. Peace, dude. Alright, you gonna tell me anything? Most passengers are trainers. They're all in a battle in their cabins. Alright. Geico, you get the first shot. Is this my cabin? Hey, dude. How you alone this battle? Alright. He's got a whole bottle of wine over there, if you see that. I don't know, I just found... I see that, and I just think it's kind of funny. Let's go for a banded fire fang. Bye bye. That was way overkill. I didn't mean to stay in. Even though I'm not too worried about what it can do to me, I just don't want to get hit with a... I don't want to fire fang him, because that'll do nothing. Sucker punch. Okay. Bye bye. Too much to handle. Alright, sure, dude. That's wine there, and he's got some food. Trash can is empty. Oh, well. Wanna battle? Well, um, you... I don't know. Sure. Okay. Um... Wait, what do you have besides present? Actually, I shouldn't have, I shouldn't have tried that, because Drano could have made Deli Bird worth something. Hello. You think I'm a baby? That's not fair. Why... Okay. My character does not speak for me. He says it, but I don't don't agree sometimes. All right, let's go into Skylar, and we'll shadow ball the Driftlin. Goodbye. Air slash on Skylar. All right. Flamethrower. 
Icy Wind. Skyler's faster than Kage. That's crazy. These guys are going to be really strong because of Pokeros. Is this my cabin down here? I think that's what he said. Okay, this is the dude we're going to have to wake up in a little bit. Huh? I know the how the SS Aqua goes because it's pretty simple. I'm fighting a fire breather, but I ended up still leaving Geico in front. What am I doing? I did a lot more than I expected it to, in all honesty. I'm gonna fire punch you, but it doesn't matter because you're dead. See, are you the dude? Yeah. I can gonna get you to look for my body. Yep, I will do that. I just gotta battle your friend here. Nothing beats a battle when he says something. I don't know why I leave Storm, but it's okay. It's just one shot. So sweet. Gold Duck. Gold Duck. Actually, you would have been the perfect. Po oh. Choice specs leave Storm. Even at minus two, it's still Okos. Get wrecked. You're a beast, buddy. Gecko's wobbling seems about to fall over. Careful, buddy. Or I'm gonna put someone else up front just because you're already level 58. Oh, I'm seasick. Okay. Bye bye. Can you please kick his 90 or 95 accuracy and you missed two in a row? I'm gonna Aura for you just because I know it'll kill. Alright, get out of bed, cheapskate. What you're just so non unmindful? Okay, whatever. I don't care. Your excuses bore me. I don't know what you can even do to me. I'm at minus six speed though, so there's that. Um, let's get a Geico handle this just because of Dragon Pulse. Choice Specs Dragon Pulse. Alright, losing is whatever, I don't care. Bye bye. Have fun. You do, do you know Fion? Why does everyone want to see Fion? Can I ever- Oh, I was about to say, can I get back here? But I can just go get a Fion. Alright, here's a Fion. You know, do you know Fion? It's behind me. Hi, Joe, it's a real Fion, but that's not enough. You can show me a mana fee, I'll give you- Man! You literally just said if I show you a fee, I don't have a mana fee. Mana fees breed Fion, but Fion doesn't evolve into mana fee, which is a still a stupid thing. There you go. Found your buddy. Are you gonna battle? I'm so bored. Well, why are you standing next to the engine? That's what I'd like to know. I mean, if you're bored, great, but why would you- why are you standing next to the engine? That doesn't make sense. I don't think I have to battle any more people. I actually think I'm done with the S's Aqua. So, if you ask me, I was still stretch my ear. Captain, play with me. I want to play more. What is but ever? Go away. Do you give anything for taking the girl away? If I remember correctly, she's over here. Yep. There you go. My family better go back to Grandpa. Sweet. Alright, have fun, guys. We got a metal coat. Alright. Thanks. Nope, I didn't want to go back in here. Let me off. Let's go. And we, here we come to the bad redesigned music of Vermilion City. Do you have anything to say? You came from Jedi Envy. You have many rare Pokemon live over there. Well, to you guys, rare Pokemon live there. And here, rare Pokemon to us. There are a lot of rare Pokemon. Here does. I don't know what that is. Hey, Suicune! Well, the voice back. Squaff, that was so close. That got cornered by the ambush there here. You, how would you corner it when you're literally on a bridge and it's in the water? Damn, I'm starting to see a pen. It's speaking of water. That means, so I gotta go. It's literally a water type Pokemon, Sweetkin. Sweetkin. Alright. Yep. I messed that up. It's definitely using. What's up? Skilled trainers gather here. They won't be easy to defeat. Sure, I'm having some weird lag here. Like, my frame rate is actually still showing 60, but it's there's some weird lag going on. Anyway. We get a couple of encounters here, we'll be able to get a Vermilion City encounter, we can get an encounter north of here, and I think we can go east, at least a ways. Oh yeah, Diglett's Tunnel isn't being blocked now, is it? You're not going to give me the Super Rod, or do I already have it? suppose it doesn't matter, because I'm not keeping anything, and I'm not, like, looking to complete- I do have a- I just saw it, okay. This time it's a woman. My mom is written land, the Zala Tablet stopped their progress. So your structure is odd words on it. Bring here the spirit, spirit of Eon. I'm pretty sure that's what that said. I don't know though. We'll figure it out. Look at my darling Skuntank. It's so, uh, aww. I like Skuntank. 
Its cry is literally a fart, but I love it. It's so precious. It's cute, lovely, smart, adorable, resistible, plus amazing. Wow, beautiful, kind. When I get warm, cuddly, it's spectacular, captivating, simply divine. That's a reference to the original place here. Look, the Wakeful Fairy opens up its arms. It's so adorable. But, uh, the guy in the original games, when you meet him here, he also, uh, he gives you the bike voucher after you listen to him. Chen is very vocal when it comes to Pokemon. Chairman of the Pokemon fan club, raised over 150. I'm very fussy when it comes to Pokemon. Did we hear it about him? Sure. You're listening up, Mar let's just wrap it up. So he just literally quoted exactly what we heard. He turned me out. We got a Rick Andy. Thanks, friend. So, Drayano specifically made it so that all, uh, we had to fight the gyms in order. So, starting with Peter City. Over many years, Digna did a large tunnel goes to a distant town. Yep. I have to go through Dignit. Dignit Tunnel. I don't believe Soranax is blocking the way. Oh, it is! I can't even go to Red 11 yet. I'm gonna get an encounter here. I can get in a Vermilion City encounter. I can fly back, so it's all good. That's a freaking high level Diglett, bro! Holy crap. Thank you. I need you to one shot, Jed. Thank you. I need to put someone else up front because I cannot have. Well, actually, you're really fast, so I think you'll outspeed it, Egg Trio, because you have all those EVs. Especially Pokerus. A, this is actually a very complicated cave. Once I get rock climb, it seems you can actually do a lot with it. You have a Nicarbos. Okay. Do I need cut to get down here? Wait, what? Someone wasn't thinking about transporting this. Okay. My good nuggets, you're the first visit having a long time going crazy. Since you look as bright as a nugget, you get a nugget. It's a nugget. Alright. Thanks. I can't go any farther south here. And he removed the cut tree. Thank you, dude. Alright, you actually do battle. You walk in the tall grass on the shore so you get nicks and cuts. That had to be some high grass for the. I forgot the theme changes. The theme in this game is so good. Or in this part is so good. Ground. Ground warm, madam. Oh my gosh, you get psychic! Alright, this is gonna be Trash Cloak then, so we're going to Scar. Sweet. Alright, let's get an encounter here then. This will be an encounter here for whatever route this is. There we go. I'll have to check. What route is this? Pewter City. Route 2. If only I had a I have a Clavable trade to Espeon. That's actually... I, I mean, I guarantee you I'd, I'd do that because I love Espeon. Espeon's a great Pokemon. I love the Johto Elite Evolutions. Clickery come to play at Mount Moon, but not every night. I came all the way out from Jota that brings back memories. When I was young, went to Jota train. You made me so much what it was like. You want you to have this. Now we can go get Lugia. Sweet. Alright, I'll buy an Iron Tail. Why not? I'll stock up in Quick Pulls, too. You guys sell Nest Balls, I'm gonna buy some of those, too. Chuck Connor and them is bitch. Have you visited Peter Jim? No. Jim and use the Rock Types. We'll battle Brock in the next episode. I don't really want to battle a gym leader or after we just beat the Elite Four. I want to do everything I can in Pewter City and get all the encounters I can, I mean. Niran, shake hands. Go, go. Okay. Oh, you see that little patch of dirt or whatever there? I want to check out what that is. I also need to go to Kurt. Picking up paper coins reminded me that I was going to do that in grinding and I forgot to. A pee-pee up on the rock. Hey, that's be pretty... That's pretty neat. Oh, 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 oh. Rock smash. Shit. I have to get something else so I can learn both rock smash and cut. Are you a trainer? Oh, the stone plate. Nice. Perhaps it was meant to be an exhibit? No. Can we get the old amber? Oh, I don't have to pay. Sweet. See a meteorite struck near Peter's city of below display them. They're said to mid strange generate cannot be carried away. I don't remember where they are. When you, I'm Cameron the photographer. Sure, Cameron. Let's hope that everyone's lined up. Did the game just crash? All right, we're not talking to you anymore. That freaking sucks. All right, since we're here, I'm gonna get my encounter in Vermilion City, and also get this item over here. It's a wingle. A luck incense. All right, so that's basically the amulet coin. It also sells for a lot more than the amulet coin. And since I know I don't need the amulet coin, I don't ever use it. I'm gonna just sell the luck incense. I wonder if you can actually get over here. 
on this side because there's obviously a little pathway where so we can went maybe there's nothing there and it's just there there's a beach on this side so it makes you think you can I don't know whatever who cares I'll see you back in a sec oh this thing didn't actually have to do with the Reggies all right I came over here to check and see if that was oh yeah you know what since we're here we'll get a route 6 encounter too and a battle but Gengar basically beat all but one trainer back on the SS Aqua. So, I thought that 57 would be right on par, but we're overleveled again. Oh, that's right! You're not a normal type anymore. I had you as my starter. Silverwind. I already had a Silverwind. No, I didn't. That's, uh, what do you call it? Um, <laughs> Insurgents. Alright, Route 6. Our encounter is Eradicate. Eradicate! There we go. Alright, our encounter this time here on Route 2. I'm pretty sure this is Route 2 is a Dust Dox. So we have what? I think we have like seven encounters to hatch. That's crazy. I, I mean, it does suck that literally... <laughs> um, the game just crashed. But you saw what, I, what happened twice with using. I just didn't keep it in because literally that was... 30 minutes in every single time that happened because that's where I was gonna end the episode anyway, but it's crashed it crashed up both times, so I wasn't kidding. This time I just felt like we're gonna do it. Because we're still there's still more to this episode and I wasn't done. There's a book here. Chapter written um the legendaries. Okay. We gotta we get Pokedex data on all the legendary Pokemon. There's also a little cool easter egg that happens at the end. There's so many third gen legends, holy crap. And a lot of them. And even more in fourth gen. Little information is known. Carving such as 16 play items gets a glimpse of legendary. Naturally gravitate toward them. And whatever, read on. The common legendary Pokemon Fiona's can be an, um, choose to declare it as a legend or uh, normal. I already have it. Unib is also blah blah blah. And then, yeah, that was that was a Dreyanu thing. I'm pretty sure if that was actually in the original, the original games, that'd be so cool. I need to get a Rock Smash Pokemon again. I may actually keep. I'm. Oh, did I already get the Stone Plate? Wait. Oh, it was that was just a graphic glitch. It disappeared. So for now, I'm gonna give Rock Smash to our um. What do you call him? Our Sceptile. Probably never gonna use it in battle, but. Uh, I don't need two dragon type moves when this thing's not even a dragon type. All right, guy, go smash that rock. The wise glasses. That's a really good item. I'm a, I'm a, I'm actually. I need to see which which boosts the moves. Well, actually, wise glasses boost all special moves, so I'm gonna give that to uh, Kage. So that's very nice, actually. All right, I'm actually going to save right here. Just in case the game crashes again. Because you never know. It was really weird. The music kept playing, but everything just... So, I'm going to save once again right right next to him. I want to talk to him and see what happens. It was literally... Okay, so this... Yeah, it, it does crash. That's so weird, dude. There are two places I love. One is the ruins of Alpha and the Pewter Museum. Uh, what's up? Do you know you can extract Pokemon if you need? Let me take care of it. Hey, you don't have fossils. Oh, nice. Well, I can do that also in uh, Johto. So that's pretty cool. Anyways, I think that's about it. So we're gonna... I'll go pick up those Pokeballs a little bit later. Um, off screen, because it's not even really something that needs to be on screen. But here we go. We have... Oh, we only have six encounters. That's still a lot of Pokemon. So it's not like we're at any sort of shortage. Oh, this guy's got a soft sand. Nice. All right, here we go, box 10. I'm gonna pull up the random number generator because I did not have it open. So one to 30, the number we generate, not eight, we always get eight, 24. We always get 24, those are some common numbers. You've got a Soothe Bell. Oh, I'm not looking forward to that. And then it's gonna be in place of a level 10 Turtwig. All right, next up, we have leftovers. All right, in place of another level 10. All right, here we go, is a six. All right, that is a level, what, 38 Wingle? Yes. 
I should write this shit down, because that'd be a good idea. Alright, got my handy dandy notebook. We're gonna move on to the next box, box 13. We have number 28. This is a level 47 Raticate. Alright. What are you? You have. Your name is Apex. And you have Earthquake. The final one for this level 33 Diglett is bought as egg number 2. Nate the Great. Alright. Are you ready to hatch these eggs, buddy? Alright. What's this level 10 Pokemon gonna be? It's gonna. It's one of the Soothe Bell. Some Munchlax! Yo! That's pretty neat. I, I have no idea what I want to name it. You know what, we're gonna name it Donovan, after that guy that commented uh, in a, a way back and I didn't have a male Pokemon to name after him. I feel like that's wrong. I'm just gonna go double check and see how he spelled it. Well, I mean, considering that's Davanen and not Donovan, yeah, that's probably right. Alright, that is how we spelled it, so pretty cool stuff. Thank you so much for commenting, my dude. And you have a Munchlax named after you. That's very cool. Let's check this little guy out. I'll hand him the, uh, Soothe Bell, because I only need the Soothe Bell so far for a, for Lucario. And I have two of them now. Where the hell is it? There it is. Alright, alright, now let's check this little guy out. Malnature, Double Edge, Curse, Zen Headbutt, Odysseus. Not bad. With Thick Fat. Alright. Let's see what this Pokemon is. See how they're level 10. A Tangela! Alrighty, you are a female Tangela. What do I- I'm gonna name you Medusa. I wish it would stay shiny, cause shiny Tangrowth is way better. But, you know, whatever. I don't care, Ernie. Leave me alone. All right, Medusa. Jolly nature. Get good drain, leech seed, confusion, ingrain. All right. All righty. Did assault vests exist in this game? I don't remember. All right. Let's see what this level 38 here is. Another Rylo. I'm gonna call dupes because Jad didn't die. <laughs> Again, uh, no, sorry little Rylu. let's check you out, though, no, just cause. You're an impish nature, cross shot, bullet punch, blaze kick, crunch. Not bad, it's pretty similar to the rest of them, in all honesty. Alright, what's this next egg gonna be? A gibble! I already had a gibble, I make all dupes on that. Alright, we're gonna name you Kissime, just in case I keep you. Kissime was the shiny gibble I got in the X Wonder Wedlock. That died. Alright, Kissime. You're an adamant with outrage, sand tomb, body slam, and iron head. You'd be a very cool Pokemon to have. So. Yeah. I think we'll probably stick with you. Alright, we have Nate the Great. So depending on the Pokemon, I may name it Nate, because I don't have a better- I don't- I might not have a better name for it. What are you? It's a pip -up. I'm gonna call dupes on that too. Alright, let's check out what are you? Modest with Torrent, Hydro Pump, Double Hit, Pound, and Yawn. Meh. I don't feel too bad. Alright, uh, let's see. What is the next number we're gonna generate? Is 26. Your Excalibur. I'm not even gonna hatch the egg because I know exactly what that is, and it's. I was gonna say I'm not gonna hatch it, but why not? It's a Skarmory. I love Skarmory, I'm gonna keep it, and if it's another Rockhead Brave Bird one, I'm gonna be so happy, because that thing will join the squad at some point again, because I love that Pokemon. So I know what that's gonna be, and I'm just gonna write Skarmory here. That's a really clever name, though, for it. Way better than 707. Not to hate on Electric Gaming 707, but I just feel like El Excalibur, that's a great name for it. Okay, so next up we have you, uh, so you were this box. Alright, so we're going to be generating egg number 22. You have no item. Okay. So let's go put these Pokemon here in the box. So I'll get you guys leveled up. Alright, we're going to use box 15 just because we have eggs in here. So what do we have? We have 14. So we'll just do 1 through 14. The first egg is 11. Well, not you never, you know what I mean. 
Anyway, here you go. You're gonna be in place of 45 dust docks. All right, this should be, not should be, this should be, this, this is the replacement for Ryalu. It should be. You've gotta be joking. How did I exchange a Ryalu egg for a Ryalu? What? <laughs> no way. <laughs> Look at that. They all have the same moveset too, except this one doesn't have crunch. Yo, that's hilarious. <laughs> oh my, sorry, punch the mic. Well, that's, that's crazy. Skarmory, yep, of course, I knew it. Excalibur, that's a great name for it. I'm gonna type it out with my mouse. Excalibur! And it all fits, beautiful. All right, let's check out Excalibur. Please be Rockhead, please be Rockhead. Rockhead Brave Bird, yes! Oh, that makes me so happy. I'm so sorry 707 died way back when, and in, in a, uh, a careful nature, so not bad at all. All right, and this final egg in place of the dust docks is... A slowpoke. Interesting. Hello, Paul. I may have... I named it Paula. Well, I'll fix that. I meant to name him Paul. But I was thinking about, I think I qu named the Quagsire Paul. So anyways, your relaxed nature, stomp features say Zen Headbutt Belly Drum, so... Relax is a pretty dope nature. Alright, we're going to uh, do another exchange. <laughs> because we had we put back a Ryalu because we got a second Ryalu, and then we got another Ryalu. I'm going to exchange from this box this time. Alright, number 23. Because, I, I don't know. It's just gonna be more even. It doesn't even matter, really. Alright, what am I getting instead of the Ryalu? <laughs> oh my gosh. It's crazy. Wingles are bad luck, bro. It's a Bagon! That's dope! It won't be sh it won't. It'll be on level 38, but... I mean, it's the perfect replacement for Dragonite, but I think I'd rather have Skarmory. I'm gonna be honest. Alright! Ooh, you're female, too. What do I even name you? Alright, this is gonna be sort of a play off of A Drive's nickname, Earhart. It's gonna be literally Earhart spelled like Amelia Earhart's name. So, you know. Why not? Anyway, we have Earhart, the, the soon to be Salamence, Lonely Nature, Dragon Dance, Dragon Rage, Dragon Rush, and Thrash. So, alright. Interesting. Interesting. Well, that was one crazy, crazy hatching session considering I had two freaking Ryalu. I exchanged a Ryalu for a Ryalu. Like,. With all the Pokemon you could breed in this game, that's crazy just how that ended up. Anyway, so Excalibur is definitely at some point going to get back on the team, because I absolutely adore... Actually, I should just put these guys in my party so I can level them up, because I'll do that now because I'm thinking about it. But, dude, I don't remember how 707 died. It died really stupidly. I think I left it in a Houndoom. That's what we're this episode, guys. Really have enjoyed it. Looks appreciated. The next episode will be... Uh, Probably taking on Brock, and we'll be able to move on, get a couple more encounters, have some more eggs. So it'll be fun to have. So thanks so much for watching. I'll talk to you all later.